car orientation has just exploded over the past couple years and so many careers and jobs have been created, especially in the North Carolina area and all over the country. Racing has just exploded. The program's really got a neat history. Uh, one of the unique things about the program is it, it really was started because students uh, had took on an intense interest in motorsports and sort of demanded that, that uh, we provide some courses and curriculum that would help support their interest in motorsports. So we've been doing motorsports and automotive related projects since the 80s. Now in 1998, uh, we formalized that in the creation of an undergraduate concentration in motorsports within the mechanical engineering program. It's great for the experience to, uh, to get to work on these things. It's uh, just the diversity of all the different cars we have, uh, the Legends cars, the Formula cars, the Baja cars is a, a big key to me because I like uh, tinkering with stuff and being hands-on. Now we've moved into more of a team model where we have several different teams in our program. Teams can be focused around either a service such as welding or fabricating or machining, instrumentation such as engine dynamometers, chassis dynamometers, flow benches, and, and stuff that's common to the industry, or a project like our drag car project, Formula SAE project, Mini Baja project, where they actually start from scratch, build the car up on the computer screen, do all the analysis, and, and build this car and then go and compete with it. We've got some 16 or so uh, alumni that are on professional cup or bush teams, uh, and, and a lot of that has just come through this the program and that being so close to all of those teams, we can make our students available and, and they can get those kinds of experiences. Uh, the program did a good job of preparing me for the industry, uh, mostly because it let me combine the technical aspects of engineering with the hands-on uh, experience of working on a race vehicle. Uh, my senior project at school was to build a, a small-scale formula-type race car, so from that I was able to, to combine uh, you know, real-world hands-on experience of uh, building a race car, understanding what goes on, uh, designing components. Well, I was able to get the hands-on experience and uh, on-job experience, you know, as I was learning the stuff in the classroom, I was actually able to apply it at my job. So I've been traveling with the team, you know, for about four years now, uh, going basically on race day, helping set up the pits, and uh, right now, you know, within the last year, I've been helping uh, with pit strategy with the 48 team, helping those guys out with fuel mileage. I think that UNCC is definitely trying to take a lead role to tap into what's happening in motorsports right now and the location of the motorsports industry being right in this region. Um, you know, their job as a university is to prepare students to go out and get great jobs. That's the bottom line. And right now, with all of the education that has to be taken into account to get jobs in this sport, it's such a big time sport now you know, they're trying to step up to meet that and prepare their students to be able to go out and get those jobs. So, you know, we feel fortunate that they've got that program so close to us, and we hope that they feel fortunate that they've got us as a resource to try to pull from.